Hey, uh, so I'm Yogesh Patel and Mohammed. Uh, we are uh, JS Start Team. Uh, we actually chose a topic to make a JSS application and do a personalization based on the user journey. So what we have done is like uh, we have created an application like uh, that is for a healthcare based organization which provides multiple services like uh, transplantation, heart services, uh, pain medi medication, etc, etc. And they also have a very good uh, doctors network who, uh, which provides multiple services um, in their network. So basically this website will be um, for patients who are uh, searching the articles on the website, making an appointments for the doctors. And the requirement is they want to build this on JSS and use personalization. So what kind of personalization uh, we have done? Uh, let us see. So this is basically home page that will have a page hero. So what we have planned is like Based on the user journey, we will change the page hero. Uh, second is the services page where we are listing the services using GraphQL. When we click on a particular service, then it will show a services page. This is a find a doctor page where we list all the doctors using GraphQL. Clicking on any doctor, it will show the profile of that doctor from where we can make an appointment. Yeah, this is appointment confirmation page. Uh, so this is the not uh, personalization we have done. Like if user is visiting a doctor's profile and he is not making an appointment, and when he comes back to the home page, we will show this notification that hey, you visited the page and uh, visited the doctor and not made an appointment. So it is just to remind the user. Similarly, based on the user persona, we will decide. Uh, which page hero to be displayed on the home page. Uh, that's it. Let me go through uh, the application we have created. So basically the routes will contain, we have tried to uh, make all the uh, content pages inside the GSS application itself so that we do not need to do any manual changes on Sitecore. Uh, we created the content block, which is out of the box of style guide. That is the only one ready made component we used. This is doctor details, um, doctor listing, and which is using the GraphQL, hero rendering, notification, services listing. Again, it is using uh, GraphQL. Uh, yeah, these are the only uh, renderings we have worked on. The thing is like we have not tried to uh, use features and foundation, all those uh, Helix principles. The reason behind that is if you want to make that possible, that is not uh, possible in one day to achieve everything. So we have tried to go in a basic way only. Okay, um, I am going to uh, Sitecore now to show uh, how our application is uh, application looks like. So yeah, so we can see all the pages are here. And uh, let us see how the page website looks like. So this is the home page having a page hero and just content that is nothing else. On services, we have a uh, content page and listing of all the services, family medicine, transplantation. <clears throat> um, the third section is doctor's landing page where user will see all the doctors and like we also show which category or which service the doctor is providing. So that is also coming from the multi list. I can show you here very quickly. Yep, it is coming. Uh, it is showing sports medicine. Uh, this doctor is having transplant and family medicine, and all these details are coming from JSS YAML file. 
Okay, so let's go to anonymous doctor and yeah, it will show the profile. Um, yep, okay, now the thing is, as I mentioned earlier, like we have a personalization that if a user is uh, visiting the doctor profile and does not make an appointment, then see this notification is coming here. So that means uh, the personalization is working and this will actually allow user to uh, make an appointment to the doctor. Our plan was to show the latest visited doctor here, but just because lack, lack of time, we could not achieve that in uh, in the given time. So yeah, uh, that is the first personalization we have achieved. Second personalization we did is like if, uh, so the organization just released uh, uh, transplantation services. They just launched it. So what they wanted to do is, hey, if anyone is visiting the transplantation service, so this is the page hero for that, and user spend some time here, and then goes to the home page, then we will show uh, the page hero. So this is the actually page hero that is uh, actually the data source is misplaced, so we are showing sports medicine services uh, based on the uh, personalization. So yeah, this is what we have done. And just in case if user is making appointment, then we, sh we should not show this notification again. So I am selecting a doctor, making an appointment, and when user goes back to home page, the notification should not be displayed there. For personalization, we have uh, simply used the goals uh, to like goals, like just uh, for example, mm, yeah, here is the page, make an appointment. So we have simply created this uh, goal, made an appointment. Similarly, on doctor's page template, we have a goal like doctor visited. So what we have done is on home, if we go to, uh, the notification rendering personalization by default we have hidden this notification and when we display it is like when the doctor page is visited i mean goal is triggered and made an appointment was not triggered at that time we show uh, the notification and we can choose whatever notification we want to show based on that and we can show this notification wherever we want for any kind of purpose because that is data sourced so yeah, that is also possible here. And uh, yeah, we faced many challenges in this project. The challenges were we are not uh, working together in one network. We were in different networks. So the challenge number one was the my uh, teammate uh, Mo. He is a front end developer, and he had no more JSS experience, just like me. And uh, he worked disconnected. He worked in a disconnected mode, but for testing, he should be connected with on-site code. And of course, he uh, uses Mac. So what we did is we made a VPN connection, and then we allowed my IP address and my port so that he can use my site code. I shared my uh, web root so that he can copy the configuration files, not he, but JSS deploy can uh, send the configuration files. So this way, like we worked like, uh, so he will, uh, how, what approach we took is like, first we uh, worked in a disconnected mode when everything is working good, then Mo will actually work in uh, connected mode so that he can test all those things in site core without deploying them to site core so that it does not uh, interrupt my work. And once everything is working in both the no modes, then he will deploy the changes to my uh, site core instance. And the same approach I took so that we do not interrupt each other's work. Uh, yeah, that's it from our side. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um,